First off, we have this Stylish Shapes dies. These are pretty cool. It puts little tiny dots. So where we used to have um, some stitched shapes dies that put like actual stitching lines, these are just little tiny polka dots, okay? So there is a difference if you're wondering. Um, there are six circles, five squares, and four banners in this. And it's just gonna be a fantastic set uh, to add to your arsenal, okay? Now, another little tip that I do, a lot of times when I die cut stuff, um, I get like little bits of paper on the edges. So if you take one of these little sanding blocks and just kind of go around the edges, it will take off all of those little rough bits and then you'll have a nice smooth edge. I can't remember if I have this linked below. If I don't have it linked below, um, I do have a link to my crafty favorites on my blog and it'll be there. It's, um, what is it called? The snow block is what this is called. A lot of you girls that may get your nails done, your nail technicians might use something like that. It's the same kind of thing. Okay, then we're going to use the cup of tea bundle, which is the cup of tea stamp set and the teacup dies. So cute. So we are going to be using a few new in colors. I've got the starry sky here, the uh, Tahitian tide, and then the parakeet party. Those are the three colors that I'm going to be using on this card. Um, so I have your standard card base. I have a layer for the inside. Uh, this will eventually become one inch by four and a quarter, and this is half inch. It will eventually become four and a quarter when I stick it on the front. Okay, so I need to do a little bit of stamping. I need okay, so the first thing I want to do is stamp a little something on this Tahitian Tide strip. And so I'm going to bring this little kind of foliage image in from the stamp set. And I've got my Tahitian Tide ink. And I am just going to, actually, I'm going to cut this first. I think I want it to be a little shorter. I just grabbed a scrap out of my um, drawer, but I think it's a little bit too long. And I need it to be just about four and a quarter so that um, this, this works. So I'm going to stamp um, on one end. And then I'm going to stamp on the other end. Okay, so that's all we've done so far. We've just added a little bit of detail to this strip. And then I'm going to bring in some liquid glue here, and I'm just going to add a little bit along the edge. I feel like I got a glue booger in there. And we're going to line this up on this piece of parakeet party, just so we have a little bit showing. Like that's about, oh, I don't know, what, an eighth of an inch maybe? Something like that. Okay, so we have that done. Um, then I have set up some of the stamps on my Stamparatus. So I needed a way to make, to stamp and die cut quickly. So what I did was I had this piece of white paper and I stuck it into my Stamparatus. I shoved it up into the corner, all that good stuff, used my magnets. And then I placed my stamps on this piece of white paper, closed my lid and picked them all up, okay? So then I inked up my stamps, I stamped them again, I removed this from my Stamparatus, took it over to my stamp and cut and emboss machine and was very, very meticulous about lining the dies up over the images and using my post-it tape to keep them in place. Um, and then I die cut them out. So they're pretty darn close to being perfect. Nothing's perfect, I'm not perfect, but they're pretty close. So now all I have to do when I want to, at least for the moment while I'm still using this stuff, is just die cut what I call a blank. This is a blank. And you just drop it right into that little space. I've got a blank here of this little flower. And I gotta figure out how it goes. I think it goes like that. Yep. Okay, so I've got the cup and the flower. And I'm gonna now ink up the, the images. And so I'm going to kind of cover up these other images because I don't need them and I don't want to get ink on them and then have them get onto my pad that's under here since I don't have um, a blank in there. Okay, so we are going to ink up the flower and the teacup. And now I can get this out of the way. And then I'm going to stamp these. I need my little presser tool. This is a little tool that I made from... Um, an old cookie press, Stampin' Up! used to sell cookie press items, and this was an old cookie press handle. I added some felt. Um, if you don't have one of these and you do want to use one of these little guys, I do have them linked below. Um, they're basically air hockey pushers, and so they are linked below. All right, let me lift that up. Oh, you know what? I didn't get this tiny little corner up here, so I am going to 
ink my cup up again just in that little corner and we'll stamp it and we'll press it down and there we go so we have our little cup here pretty good and then our little flower I'm gonna punch that out and scoot it around so now that's what I have and let me put my scratch paper in there so there we go get that out of the way have everything we need. I also die cut this little tiny tag. It's another little die that's in the stamp set because I need to stamp a little tiny sentiment on it. There is this itsy bitsy teensy tiny little um stamp and it says can't I just can't thank you enough. So I'm going to try to stamp this on this straight. Again this camera is like right in my line of vision here so let's hope I Oh, that's like way, I think I pressed way too hard. You know what I probably need? I probably need that, the little foam pads. Let me ink that up again carefully. And let me try this again. That's the bad side. That's the good side. That's better. Okay. Try not to lose that. All right, so we're getting our stamping done. Um, I do need to clean off my little um, foliage piece because we are going to stamp some foliage on the inside of the card, but in a different color. We're going to use the parakeet party for that. So let me get that here. And I just kind of wanted to stamp it um, on the bottom here. So let me get that. And maybe I should bring in my foam pad. All right, so we're going to stamp this just right down here towards the bottom. So cute. Um, and then I think I'm going to use Starry Sky. This is, oh, this, these new colors. I just, you know, there's not, obviously all of the colors eventually grow on me, okay? I do end up loving all of them. But at first glance, when Stampin' Up! first released these colors, I was, oh my gosh, here I go again, talking and not paying attention. Let's see if we can... Does anybody think I can do this? I don't know. Ugh. No. If you all thought I could do this, you were wrong. Start over. <laughs> anyway, I love all of these colors. And I don't always love them all. Uh, they always have to grow on me. But these colors did not have to grow on me at all. I loved them all immediately. So if you're on the fence about whether you want to get them, you do because they're amazing. I guess that's it if you like bright, bright, fun colors. If you don't like bright colors, you probably won't like it that much. But okay. We also have this little kind of flourishy piece that was um, in the set. And I am going to stamp it a few times um, in the corner here. So I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it like directly out from the corner and then kind of a partial on the side and a partial on the bottom, just to give a tiny bit of interest to the front of the card. All right, I need to put this ink away before I end up sticking my finger in. Oh, I know. Kim says that's why paper has a backside. That is for Barb. It's it's for Barb. It's literally only for Barb. No, I'm sure it's not just for me. I'm sure we've all done that before. Okay. So let me stick this in here. And you notice I always flip my card upside down and kind of backwards. It's because I'm a right-handed person. And if I don't do it like this, this I can see a lot better if I flip my card around like that. I know it probably doesn't make any sense. A lot of things I do don't make any sense, but they, they make sense to me. <laughs> so that's all that really matters, right? Okay. So now I'm going to line this up and I'm going to use my grid paper to do this. So I am going to add some glue to it. Uh, I think we're going to use liquid glue. That way, if I have to wiggle it around a little bit, I will be able to. Uh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to line my card fold up on one of the dark lines here. And then I'm going to line my top up at a top line. And then I'm going to use these lines to put my paper down. 
hold on I gotta cheat just a tiny bit because I have one already made and I want to figure out it's like where I'm gonna put it so I'm lining it up so I have the paper right there and then right in the middle of that layer right there or that line right there so hopefully that is good and then I need to bring in some paper scissors not ribbon scissors and I need to trim that excess off of that edge and this edge. Oh, and we're still watching the love boat, you guys. Yep, we are really enjoying the watching the love boat. I've just been getting a real kick out of it. Seeing all those stars that I used to watch on shows when I was a kid. It's just been a lot of fun. Okay, so then I'm going to take my circle and I'm going to put it on the card. Um, in the center of my little whatever I made here and see so that way because I added um, to both ends I don't have to put anything in the middle because my circle is going to cover up that spot in the middle where there isn't any uh, foliage stamped okay uh, then we need to do some coloring I'm going to try to do this quickly and I know how uh, I guess maybe maybe for you guys it's not boring I just feel like it's boring watching people color um and I always feel bad because it's like, oh, I got to color this and it's going to take me a few minutes. And now I'm using the light Tahitian Tide. I thought it would be kind of cute if we pretended it was like a tea bag hanging out of the cup. So I've got our Essentials Baker's Twine pack here with all of those um, neutral kind of um, goodies. And then we have glue dots. Here we have glue dots. So I'm going to add a glue dot to the back of this little tag. Okay. And I'm going to keep it on my finger so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to add a glue dot to the to take a little piece of the twine and I'm going to stick it on that glue dot there and then I'm going to bring the bring this over you know however however long I want it and then I'm going to add my little tag just like that and actually there's probably enough of a glue dot left on there that it'll just stick and it will there you go okay then I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of my little flower and I'm going to add it to the cup right here, the little handle, and then some dimensionals, and we can stick it on there. And I lost my big dimensionals. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Today, you know what? It, I don't even know why I'm saying today. The struggle bus. I'm always on it. <laughs> I don't know why. Check the floor. Yeah, it's probably down. Oh, I guess is it on my sleeves. Nope. Nope. After I get, well, after I get done doing this, then I'm going to go up and have dinner with my husband. Um, and then when I come back down here a little bit later, um, I'll probably find it. Oh, don't do that. Come on, Barb. All right. So we're going to center this in the middle of our circle. <gasps> so cute. And then the last thing I wanted to do was bring in these little dots and add a tiny little um, dot to the center of my flower. Now the big question is, Am I going to add a Tahitian Tide dot or am I going to add a Parakeet Party dot? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, there is a Parakeet Party dot. That's cute. But would it be cuter if it was a Tahitian Tide dot? I don't know. Let's see if we can get one of those. And there's the Tahitian Tide dot. So you guys think green or blue is better? Sherry says she likes the green, the parakeet party. You know, I honestly kind of did too. I was originally, when I first pulled these dots out, I thought, oh, a Tahitian Tide dot's going to be super cute. But then when I pulled them out, I was like, mm, you know what? We might go with the little parakeet party. Oh, don't do that. You stick on there. Okay, this thing is giving me some fits. There we go. I think most of you were saying the green, so that's good. We're all on the same page here, you guys. Okay, so there is my cute little card. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought it was adorable.
Oh, you know what? I have one sentiment to put on the inside. This says, let's get together soon. So let me stamp that. So again, you guys, thank you again for watching today. I appreciate that so much and all of your comments and your sharing and liking and all that stuff. Um, really helps my channel. If you wouldn't mind subscribing right down here in the bottom corner, then you'll be notified by YouTube um, when I'm live again, which should be every Thursday night, this same time.